Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Jake, here, and today I'm going to be doing another manga I'm hyped for in blank month. Next month's October 2022, so of course, manga I am hyped for of October 2022. Now, before I get into this video, I want to know what you guys are hyped for for the month of October. If you have anything pre ordered, or if you have anything that's coming out that you're very much excited for for the month of October, leave that down in the comments down below, and let's get straight into this video. Now, I have a lot to go through, and if you don't know anything about my videos or the most recent one that I made about what this is going to be formatted like, I do a buying section of big publishers, Viz, Gia and Press, Seven Seas, Kodansha, Vertical, yada, yada, yada. And I do a planning one. Planning is because it's too long and I don't have any volumes yet, or I have a couple volumes, but I don't have the whole series, so I'm planning it in the future. Buying is I'm going to be, I have it pre ordered and I'm buying it. If you don't know, I have a huge list right here of what I'm going to be talking about, so we're going to start off with my Viz buying. First off, on my Viz buying, I have Sakamoto Days Volume 4. Love Sakamoto Days. This is one volume closer to where I left off. I think Volume 5 is where I left off when I read it weekly. Now I'm just waiting for the Volume 5 to come out so I can actually binge it and catch up to where I was when I was reading it weekly before I dropped it to read the physicals. Because I'm going to be real honest, I like reading physical manga so much more than reading digitally. So I just had to drop the series once I heard it was getting physical release. And I'm really excited for what Sakamoto Days has in store for the rest of the series. Now, as a huge fan of Beastars, it's actually in my top 10 currently. It could move around in my top 10 because I haven't read the ending. I have yet to read from 17 onwards. But it's going to be Drip Drip by Paru Itagaki. I'm very, very excited to hear that... This is the first time you actually see Pari Tagaki draw a human. Now, I know I see the cover. I can see that she's drawn a human, of course. I can see what it looks like. I'm really intrigued to see what the character design is of other characters other than the main character. I'm really excited to see what Drip Drip is kind of like, because I already know a little bit of a synopsis for Drip Drip. So, I'm going to say I'm really excited, and I cannot wait to see what it has in the store for me. Next up is one I've been very, 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 very excited for. I read exactly what the first volume will be entailing, and that's going to be Mission Yozakura Volume one now i'm very excited i had the first five volumes in japanese i'm gonna say this right now i've read only the first nine to ten chapters i don't remember where i left off i literally left off where volume one ended when that whole thing was going on i think i had like 100 chapters when i read it and so i kind of just went okay i'm gonna read what the first couple volumes have in store then i read volume one and then it got announced the next day so i dropped it and i waited and i waited and now it's finally finally coming out i'm really excited to see what mission yozakura family has in store for me i'm really excited to see what these spines look like and what they're gonna look like i think they're probably gonna look exactly like the japanese spines purely because they are in english the japanese spines aren't english they don't use hiragana katakana or kanji so I'm gonna expect it's probably the same just like Sakamoto Day, so we'll see. And I hope they look nice. <laughs> now, there's gonna be two of these on this video. This one's gonna be in the uh, Viz buying, the other one's gonna be later on in the video. But this one, My Hero box set. Now, I'm actually trying to sell my My Hero, but people are selling literally 1 through 31 for like $25 at this point, and I'm not selling 31 volumes for that price. I feel like that's just too little for that many volumes, and I just don't see why people are selling it that low. I get the box that's coming out, and it's coming out for 100 bucks, but I literally see people selling 1 through 31 for under $100. So, they're getting 10 extra volumes than what the box set will entail, and I think the box set 2 will only be like 16, 17 volumes probably. Maybe we see, we'll see, because Horikoshi says he wants to end it soon. Soon can be 3 volumes to five at this point we never know he said he wanted to end it this year and he's probably not ending it in 2022 he's probably ending it in 2023 so we'll see what the uh, in store for my hero in the future but i don't know how many of the volumes the next vo uh, box is going to hold maybe he just does straight 40 volumes and it's gonna be 20 and 20 that'd be interesting and i really enjoy that but yeah the my hero box i already have pre-ordered like 107 bucks on amazon i pre-ordered it once it got to that price i knew i was gonna buy it and hopefully i like the ending of my hero because i'm already up to date with it and yeah, that's it. Now, this is a series that no one talks about other than me. It's going to be Twin Star Exodus Volume 26. A little bit of a spoiler on the cover, so I'm not going to show it for that long. But I'm going to say I'm very excited for Twin Star Exodus. I'm waiting for a bunch of volumes to pile up. I've read up to 18 or 19. I don't remember. I'm going to reread it at some point when it gets to probably around Volume 30-ish. I want to read it when it kind of finishes or is very close to finishing because I love it so much. It's in my top 10, too. It is one of those series that is so underrated. I think you have to give it its time, though. It does take a little bit. I think t Post Time Skip is one of my favorite parts of all shonen so i would say give it that like six seven volumes give it that little bit because the first five is just build up for the huge stuff to come later on and i very 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 highly suggest it 
Next up is one that I don't know if it's actually ending soon or if it's just having the final fight of this arc that's currently in, but I don't know. It's just very out in the air. No one knows. And that's going to be Undead Unlock Volume 9. I don't see it ending soon. I've read up to Volume 5. I don't see how the mangaka would just end it that quick when the anime hasn't even came out yet. It is confirmed and it is David Productions and that's a huge animation studio. They did JoJo's. They're doing Yurisei Atsura. They do so many things. They did Fire Force. You know, the, David Productions is a huge one and it'll probably get Undead Unlock that huge, get over the huge hump it's been over of getting like two weeks into like being ranked and then being unranked for two weeks it'll it'll help its sales so much so i don't see why the manga would end it before the anime even comes out so hopefully he doesn't hopefully it's just the final battle of that arc but that's undead unlock volume 9 now one i'm not super 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 excited for because i have yet to read anything past volume 1 for your volume 6 i don't know how they're just releasing every volume like a month apart i think we're almost up to date i think there's only nine volumes of free so i don't know why we're trying to catch up so fast with this series and not trying to catch up all at all with multi series for most publishers they just like let it go and let's be like okay we're not going to catch up at all for those series but we'll catch up to free and be like simul releasing our volumes now the one I, next one i am excited for even though i've read this volume and i'm going to be re i have already read the next two volumes I think I've read volume 4 and 5 already online. I've read the first 50 chapters, and that's because it wasn't announced yet. It's going to be Kaiju number 8, volume 4. If it continues with these color schemes, it's going to be so nice looking on the shelf. It's now on the front of my double stacks. If you don't see me down here, I have double stack manga. Waiting to get my risers. I've been for like a year now. It's very annoying, I know. But um, it's now on the front of my double stack, so I can constantly see it. And I very much love the look of Kaiju number 8's volumes. And I'm going to say, this purple hits different. I cannot wait for it to come out. And I cannot wait to have that purple on, this, on these shelves. Another one I read a little bit online, but I've only read the first chapter. So I'm not too crazy about how much I've read. That's going to be Dan to Dan or Dan to Dan, however you want to say it. Did read the first chapter. It was crazy. It's exactly what you'd expect from the assistant of Tatsuki Fujimoto. It's just craziness with an amazing art style. That, that's basically what I read. It was just, I did not know what the hell was going on, but it looked crazy good. It was probably one of my favorite weekly or bi-weekly looking series. I don't know if it's bi-weekly or weekly. It was definitely one of my favorite art styles I've seen in a really long time from a new shonen. And Don to Don, I cannot wait to read more of because that was just crazy what I did read. Now, if you don't know anything about my channel, I love me my rom-coms, so I'm sorry. I'm gonna put a rom-com on here. Romantic Killer, I did not think I was gonna pick this up when I saw the announcement and everything I announced for fall 2022. And I didn't think I was gonna pick it up. Then recently I read the synopsis and I instantly said, why the hell wouldn't I pick this up? It's literally right down my alley. It is something I know I'll probably very much enjoy. I very much enjoy my rom-coms. I very much enjoy my series like this. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. It's gonna be on my viz buying. I don't care. I'm gonna buy Romantic Killer. Kill me. Now, the last volume on my Viz buying. It's gonna be Dr. Stone 23. Now I know, I've yet to be caught up with Dr. Stone. I do now have all 22 volumes now. I am only up to volume 12. But of course, I do have all the volumes, so I'm going to be buying it. It's not going to be my planning because I already have the volumes. I just haven't read all of them yet. I'm very excited to read more. It's just I kind of read so much at once that I kind of needed a break. So I took a little bit of a break from Dr. Stone. Very much enjoyed it. Very much loved it. But I just need a little bit of a break, and I cannot wait to get this volume. Now on to my Viz planning. I have a couple volumes on here, and the first one is going to be a shoujo. Crazy, I know. We just had this whole drama with the shoujo and shonen in the same community. It was Thanks, Sage. That's all I have to say. But, um, <laughs> yes, it's going to be a show drill, and it's going to be Yona of the Dawn, Volume 37. Very excited to get into this series. I know the first couple volumes are kind of hard to find, but I've been really wanting to get into the series for a really long time since pre-having 30 volumes. I've been really wanting this for a really long time. Thought the, I heard the anime is really good for my friends, and I just want to read it. The art looks really good. It looks like one of the better shoujo art styles. I don't love shoujo art styles like the generic shoujo art style. I know that might sound weird. But I don't really like it, but I will say some shoujos have amazing art. Of course, I'm not going to group all shoujos into that and say every shoujo has the same art style. Of course, they're all different. It's just a lot of them follow the same things, and I don't like usually when they do that, but I think Yona does it really well. I also got another thing this month that I think does it amazingly, so I'll, show, I'll tell that in my haul video later down the line, but let's stay on this video. Now, the next thing I know, I'm, I had this in my viz planning I don't plan on buying it. I plan on buying the box set, like I said earlier. My Hero Academia 32. I'm planning on buying the box set 
from it, once it gets a box of two, it's, it's bound to get a box of two when it has a box of one. And it has probably enough when it, gets, when it finishes to get a box of two. So I'm going to probably pick this up when I get the box set, but I have to put it on here because I will be picking it up in the future. Now, my next two are both actually shoujo's as well. And that's going to be Snow White with the Red Hair, Volume 21 is the first one. I've been really wanting to get into this series. I've seen clips of the anime. I really think I'll like it. I like rom-coms. I like fantasy. So why not mix them both? I mean, why not? I like drama. So I'm probably going to like Snow White with the Red Hair. And I also like the art style very much. So I'm going to probably read it at one point. And the next one is going to be My Love Mix-Up, Volume 5. I know this actually only has nine volumes. I think it recently ended. Don't know why it ended. Um, I hear very good things about it, and I love this art style. This is actually the series I picked up some of. I'm going to spoil that right now. This is the shoujo I think has an amazing art style. really like it. Of course, I know you might be saying, oh, they wrote my love, they, they drew my love story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love both their art styles. It looks amazing, and I very much enjoy what it looks like. So, yeah, that's my opinion. And now we're going on to my seven C section. Which the first thing I'm going to be talking about is a series that I don't think any of you have heard of because I didn't before I researched before this video. Of course, I got research. Just can't just go on Amazon and see my pre-orders now because the menu sucks. But it's going to be Imaginary Volume One. I was when I was researching, didn't know about this series at all. Then when I started researching, I found this volume and it looks amazing, and I really want to pick it up. And I cannot wait to see what it's about. I think it's a rom-com with a bunch of different characters. I don't know anything really too much about it. I've read the synopsis, don't really remember off the top of my head, but very excited. It looks in like amazing volume. I like, I just like this cover scheme. A lot of these covers are coming out now with this cover scheme. It's one of my favorite ones, just having a bunch of different characters in different blocks around the cover. I just like it a lot. So hopefully I enjoy the volume. <laughs> now, one I actually have already made a video on, and I actually have it right here. Nox of Reincarnation, volume three. I actually highly recommend this one. It's a very interesting isekai. Yes, it's an isekai. If you don't like isekai, you might not like it, but I'm going to say this right now. I'm not the biggest fan of isekai manga, and I really enjoy it. I like isekai novels, but manga, kind of on the fence with this, definitely is one you should check out. Even if you just like fantasy series, this is one you should definitely check out. Very interesting and very, very nice gritty art style. If you like the gritty art styles like Chainsaw Man and all that, you'll probably like the art style for Yakuza Reincarnation. It is very interesting and I really like that art style. Now one I always, always, always hype up is my ma my main boy. The one, I, the one I've been hyping up ever since I read it. It is an amazing series and I've been wanting more of it and I've been wanting and wanting more of it. That's Komodo Jihen Volume 2. If you don't know, I've already read the first 14 volumes online before it got announced because I didn't think it was going to get announced because it had so many volumes. And now that it is, I feel stupid and I wish I didn't because this series is amazing. I wish I got it to read it physically first so I can just have that nice satisfaction of reading it in, fit, uh, in person. But not much I can do. Definitely highly recommend this one if you have yet to read it already. I think the first arc is very interesting. It just keeps getting better and better and better. I think the more characterization you get with Shiki and Akira and Kabane and all them just makes it even better. And I think that this just keeps getting better and better. Like I keep saying, just the better tally is going up. But it's a great series. Definitely recommend this one. And definitely you should check out Kimono GN Volume 2. And one... I'm going to be starting to read with this volume, and that is The Duke of Death and His Maid Volume 3. I said I'm going to give it about three volumes before I start reading it, because I didn't want to just give it the one volume and go. I'm the person that gives a uh, series a couple volumes before I decide if I like it or don't like it. I'm going to say this right now, I'm probably going to like this one a lot, so hopefully I don't get disappointed, and I'm very, very excited about The Duke of Death and His Maid. I really like the uh, soundtrack of the anime and i really like the opening and ending and i really like what i've read of the first chapter because i did read the first chapter before all this even got announced but i'm gonna say very excited and hopefully i enjoy it <laughs> now one i've been really really wanting for a very long time it's coming out this month with seven seas and i'm very excited that they actually announced this a while back kind of completely forgot about them announcing it until i was researching and that's candy and cigarettes i've been really wanting to read this series i know the anime man i think did a video on it or had it had it in a video, I don't remember, it was a really long time ago, but it got me so interested in this series. I was about to pick this up, like, before I even started my channel at Kino Kunia, and I very much have been just wanting candy and cigarettes, and now it's finally coming out, and I'm very, very, very excited. I just love the art style, very interesting art style, and I really like the synopsis, so hopefully I enjoy it, and I'm very, very excited for this series. The next one, I cannot show, because I think I might get demonetized, so I'm just gonna say... E to 10, Volume 3. Look as you may. The next one is a novel. It's going to be the only 7 Seas novel I have on here. Yeah, the only 7 Seas novel I have on here. It's Vivi Prototype Volume 1. 
Um, I did not really like the anime. I'll be very honest. I watched the first two episodes and it was just that, that one robot literally just annoyed me with how fast he was speaking. I just did not like him and I thought it was an okay series. So don't hate me, but I'm going to read the novel. I'm very excited for the novel. Hopefully I enjoy the novel more than I did the anime. <laughs> Now, the last thing on my 70s buying is going to be Momo the Bloodsucker Volume 2. I know I didn't buy Momo Volume 1 last month, but spoiler, maybe I did recently. Now, I'm going to be buying Volume 2, so it's not going to be in my planning because I'm going to be buying it. So, why would I have it in my planning? So, yeah, th that's it. It's just Momo Volume 2 is my last thing in my 70s buying. Now, my 70s planning is kind of short, so I might just put them both together just so you guys can... Kind of skip through this real quick, and that's going to be Servant Volume 17 and Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs 21. Those are my Seven Seas planning. Don't have any uh Servant, been really wanting it. I knew we went on a long hiatus, that's why I didn't pick it up. And Yuna, I have Volume 1. Very excited to get more. It's definitely down my alley of that Eshi Shonen, uh, Shonen Jump series. I like those all the time, so definitely cannot wait to get more Yuna as well. Now I'm going to be starting my Yen Press buying. And the first thing is going to be another series. I don't know if I can show this cover. It's not that bad, but I'm just going to be safe with it and say it's Chain Soldier Volume 2. Look as you may. I mean, it's not that bad. I think E to 10 Volume 3 is way worse than Chain Soldier Volume 2. But I just don't know if I can show it. So I'm not going to. Sorry if you want to see it. Go look on Amazon. I don't know what to tell you. Now, the next thing I do have on here is actually a novel. Basically, all of my Yen Press stuff is novel, so if you want, you don't like novels or light novels or anything, just skip all the way to my Kodansha buying section. Just go down there and press the chapter button, and you can just skip to the Kodansha one if you want. But I'm going to say this right now. There's a lot of interesting not late novels in here, so I would suggest staying. Like Executioner and Her Way of Life, Novel 5. Very excited to get into this one, and I cannot wait to buy it. I know I have not read these. I just started school, like I've been saying in my videos. I read these when I'm at school, so. And I don't read novels when I come home from work because I feel like dying after work. So <laughs> I actually just save those for school time. So when I get home from school, I can just relax, read a novel, have some, fun, have some time on my own, and not be stressed out so that's why i'm really my novels warning <laughs> now the next one is dragon and ceremony novel three i did read the first chapter of novel one very much enjoyed it so hopefully it stays that good because if it doesn't i'm gonna be very depressed and i'm gonna be buying two more novels for no reason because i do only give like novels one or two novels because you can get so much more content out of a novel than a manga volume so that's just my take you can take that as you may now one novel with the potential to be one of my favorites. The girl I saved on that train that day turned out to be my childhood best friend, Novel 3. I know, long name, people just call it train. I'm just gonna keep calling it train for the rest of this video and the rest of my videos. I'll say it once and then say it's called train. It's called train, very good. Highly suggest train, you should definitely read it. It is one of my favorite rom-com novels. Yes, it's a mini harem, I will admit that, but it's very interesting and the main character is the most it's joked at that he's the most stereotypical harem MC. He's literally been called a brick wall many of times in the novel, and I really love it. I don't know why. Just very much highly suggest Train. And the last thing on my Yen-Press buying is going to be Sasaki and Peep's novel 2. Don't want to talk about it much because my friend hasn't read it yet, and I don't want to spoil anything, but very excited to read this. I got this way more recently, so I have yet definitely have yet to read this one, but yeah, Sasaki and Peep's. Now it's going to be my Yen Press planning. A lot more novels, like I said, like Bakano Novel 20. <sighs> this is only on my planning because 4 and 6 are literally like 500 bu bucks. Like, together, they're literally the price of the whole set. It's just so annoying. I want Bakano so bad. And Yen Press just hate us and hate money, so they don't reprint it. Just like Durara 8. They hate us, they hate money, they don't reprint it. All I have to say, Yen Press, please just reprint the popular series people would definitely buy more of. If you just reprinted the volumes that were early on and you need to read because no one wants to read digitally no one if you start a novel you don't want to have a space on your shelf where it's not there and you read digitally it's just not nice looking it's not appealing so stop that fix it next up one i've read the first two novels of i know i've read these novels crazy tomozaki 8.5 i have yet to read anything past two because i don't have anything past two that's why it's on my planning very nice cover, really like the color scheme, and I really like the spines of Tomozaki, and I really like the first two novels, so I highly suggest those if you haven't yet to read them, or even watch the anime, because I hear the anime is actually a good adaptation. I know there's a season two coming out, so if you like anime more than novels, go ahead, check out the anime. Now one, I've watched every season on season four of, and I want to get the novels, but I haven't yet, because they've been starting to get printed more recently, 
And they're already on Novel 7, it's Day to Live. I really like Day to Live, I think it's a solid 8 the anime. I've watched season one two, 1, 2, and 3. If you guys have watched season 4, like I said, very excited to read them. And I'm also very excited for season 4, because I hear it's very good, and I hear the animation is just insane for Day to Live, because Day to Live's animation is pretty meh. It's pretty just average. But I hear season 4 is actually really good, so... Hopefully I enjoy season four for the story and I'm probably gonna enjoy the animation. So hopefully the actual novels are good as well because of course I know nothing about them. I don't know if they're different from the anime. I don't even know if they're good, but I do want to read Data Live. So hopefully in the future I can. And I know they're pretty thin, so it's not gonna take up too much health for me. Now, the next one is gonna be Spy Classroom Novel 4. Not read it, I only have Novel 1. I've been very much procrastinating this one. Don't know why, I just have, I, I don't know any reason why I should procrastinate it, I just haven't. It looks interesting, and I think I'll very much like it. I feel like it's just going to be a better version of Coat, because I don't really like Coat that much, so I'll probably enjoy this one. And let's see how I think about it when I do read it. Now one, I've been trying to get people on, but I haven't been able, even able to get a novel one myself, your former novel too. And also, I know, this is not the English cover, I know. I could not find the English cover that had a decent picture for my life. I literally went on there for like 20 minutes looking for this one cover. And I said, there's literally, I think 48 or something on here. I can't spend this much time on each cover or even just one. It's just too much time. I'm sorry. This is what you get. Yay, another manga in this section. Another one volume. That's three, technically. Yamamushi Paddle 21. Um, If you don't know, Yamamushi Paddle is a lot of volumes that are just hard to find. I think it's three or four. I can't find them. I want it very bad. I've watched the first season of the anime. Very much enjoyed it. Very much loved it. Really want Yamamushi Pedal, but I can't find it. So it's in my planning. Please, Yen Press, these popular series, please reprint your your stuff. Please, just please. That's all I have to ask. Now, another one that I do want to read, and I haven't gotten any of it yet, In the Land of Laodel. I've heard mixed things. I heard the anime is terrible, but I hear the actual, not manga, I hear the light novel is very good, so I'm very excited to get into the light novel. Don't have any of it yet, like I said, so hopefully I get that in the future, and I'll probably read that very quick because I do very much want to read that, and it does very, very highly interest me. So, yeah, that's In the Land of Laodel, Volume 6. And now the last thing on my end press planning is going to be the de Detective is Already Dead, Volume 4. Same thing as, uh... In the Land of the Adele Volume 6. Very much excited to get this. Don't have any of it. Hear very good things about the novel. I've seen the first episode of the anime, which is like an hour long. The animation is insane. But I hear the whole first episode. It's just completely different from the novel. So, I don't know if I could take that as a win. I'm definitely going to read this at one point, but I don't know when. Hear the novel is great, so hopefully I enjoy it. Now, I'm now back to all the manga fans that didn't want to see my Yen Press section and my late novels talk. So... Hello, it's the Kodansha buying section. If, if you didn't skip, this is very awkward, and I'm very sorry for that, but we move. And that's going to be starting off with Shangri-La Frontier, no, uh, Volume 2. See, I'm so used to saying novel now that I'm saying novel instead of volume. Volume 2, I don't know how they're printing this so fast, because not Volume 1 just came out September 6th. So, I don't know, but I'll take it. I mean, quick prints, I'll take it. For series, I think this one has 10 no uh, volumes of. We should be printing it fast, like another one. Kubo hasn't gotten printed fast at all, and there's 10 volumes out. So, just take that as you will. I think this is really good for Kodansha. It's printing out the volumes that are coming out for these new series quickly, and I really think Kodansha is doing a good job on that. So hopefully their spines don't go like this, or have chips all over them, because that's all Kodansha do. Another one that's coming out fast, but it does have, I think, 19 volumes out now. Blue Lock Volume 3, they already had the digital version, so I'm not surprised that these are coming out very quickly. They already had a easy format, they just had to copy and paste it into the printing format, and they already had it. So, it's not surprised these are not, these are coming out quick. Like, they're coming out basically monthly or bi-monthly, so, just like the Shaman King Omnibuses. So, gotta respect it, very much enjoyed Blue Lock so far, I think it's like an 8.3 to an 8.5. Don't think it's better than Awashi, I know, hate on me, but I've read way more Awashi, and I think it's amazing, it's in my top four, so... Say as you will, but yeah, Blue Lock Volume 3. Now, like I said about the box sets earlier, this is going to be the next box set on this video. And it's going to be the Quintessential Quintuplets Box Set 2. Very excited, very, very, very excited. Actually, I have yet to read my first box set because I was waiting for the full series to binge it. I want to know everything that happens. I know nothing about Quints other than their sextuplets. That's the only thing. I think that's the word for it. I think it's sextuplets. I think there's five. So, that's the only thing I know. That's the only th Wait are quintuplets is in the name wait oh my god okay hey they're quintuplets that's the only thing i know 
I'm done. <laughs> Next up, I hate this English name. I hate how they changed it. From Ranger Reject to Go Go Loser Ranger. It sucks. I get it. It's supposed to be a play on the Power Ranger where it's just how it's like a play on the kind of Power Ranger kind of theme of it. Like the whole thing is just a play on the Power Rangers, making the Power Rangers the villains, yada, yada, yada. Made by the guy who did Quince, just making an action mystery now. And I've read the first volume or two and it's amazing. I very much highly suggest this, but go, go loser Ranger. You couldn't think of a better name? Oh my God, I hate it. Just keep Ranger Reject at that point. It sounds so much better. And the one I will get so much hate for, because this is the one I am the most hyped for this month. By far most hyped for. The last thing in my Kodantra buying section. Orient Volume 10. I'm so excited for Orient Volume 10, man. I love it. It's an amazing series. No one wants to give it the time of day. But Shinobu Utaka is a great manga, and I knew she would pull out with manga up. Uh, I knew Orient was going to be a hit once I started reading it, and I, I just felt the Moggy vibes. I just knew it. I loved Orient, and I still love it. I think it's great, and I think it's way overhated. I think people just hate on it because they were the first volume and didn't want to give it another chance. But you had for a manga like Shinobu Otaku, who's shown that she can make some of the best political manga out there with Moggy, I think that you should give it a chance. Like, come on. This has a very high potential, have a very good political system. I cannot wait to see what happens next in Orient not Volume 10. Now, on my second to last section, because my my last section, I actually don't know anything I'm buying from this company. I just have a lot of planning from it. But that's going to be my Kodansha uh, planning, and I'm going to start with Fire Force 29. I have 1 through 20. I have it right there on my shelf right here. And um, I don't have anything past that. I know it ends, I think, 34. So I might just wait for it to end and then pick up the whole the rest of it and reread it and finish it because you're amazing things about Fire Force. And I hear it. I already know the little bit of a twist about Fire Force at the end. It just makes me want to read it more. So I don't know which order I'm going to read Atsu Shiokubo works, but I'm going to have a huge reread of Atsu Shiokubo works very soon. So we'll see how I like them. Next up, the only reason this is my planning because two omnibuses came out and I didn't even know. Shaman King Omnibus 11. I didn't know. I stopped. I had all the pre-orders from like 1 through 8 pre-ordered instantly. And I just forgot to pre-order it 9 and 10. I guess that's just how it be sometimes. So I forgot to pre-order them and I don't have them yet. So this is my planning. Yeah. Now one I actually do plan on buying very soon. But it's going to be my plan because I don't have anything of it right now. The Galaxy Next Door Volume 3. Very excited. I forgot who the manga was for this. I'll leave it right here. But I know they made another work. Oh, Sweetness and Lightning. It was. Just, I don't even have to leave that. Sweetness and Lightning manga back at it again with another series. And I very much cannot wait to read it. It looks super wholesome. Yeah, just very excited. And now, the last thing. On my Kodansha planning. Island in a Puddle Volume 4. Now, this is made by the guy who did a race, and I don't know why he's he, all his works get thrown to every publisher. It's super weird that Gen Press could, Kodansha can, Viz can, they, all of his works get thrown around. It's, it's kind of weird, but I'm very excited to get the series. To be honest, I'm surprised it's not Gen Press. I did research and it said it was Kodansha, unless I just wrote this in the wrong section and I'm being very stupid, but I'm not even going to look it up. I'm just going to leave that for the comments to hate on me for. That's what they're for. Now, the last section only has two volumes, and that's my vertical planning. That's going to be Sensei's Pew Sly, I can never say it, four, and also Bakemonogatari volume 16. I don't know if I'm ever going to get the Bake manga because I have almost all the novels, but very excited for both these to come out. I'm definitely going to get Sensei's Pew Sly. I never can say it. I'm just going to say Sensei's. I'm going to get Sensei's at one point. I only have volume one. I did read a little bit of it, and I did enjoy it. It's just messed up. It's just not, it's like a little bit toned down version of Shuzo Oshin work. That's what it is so far, so. Hopefully I enjoyed this one and that's going to be it for my manga I'm tight for in October. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you know it is very hot in my room. And it's another one of those videos where it's going to be 40 minutes long in terms of the the actual video and I have to edit it down. Not going to be fun for me, but uh, I'm going to just go do it anyway. And I know my next video <sighs> next week, it might only have one video. I'm trying to get two videos out a week more consistently now. But next week, my video is huge. It's going to be probably a 30, 35 minute video. And I'm going to say it's going to be a very, very exciting one. And I cannot wait for you guys to finally see this video I've been working on. And I'm very, very excited for it to come out. And I, I'm i just, I, I'm just ecstatic. I'm, I'm just ecstatic. I know, I'm, I'm so very, I'm, 
I'm stuttering really bad. I get it. I can't speak, but that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope I see you guys next time. Peace!